Here we've got the Vocaster 1 and 2. They're our latest audio interfaces from Focusrite. Um, these are aimed specifically at podcasters and streamers. We've got a great history and reputation on uh, audio interfaces, typically for musical applications. Uh, but these are two audio interfaces which really streamline the process of recording, get all your mixes, your compression, EQ, enhancements, all done on board, and then just produces a single stereo audio file so that you can get on with having great conversations and focusing on, on streaming or whatever you're using it for. Great. So why would I need these over kind of like a conventional audio interface? So the fundamental difference is that there's a lot of uh, lots of, lot of hands-off involvement. So you don't have to uh, set the gain levels yourself and worry about clipping. Um, you can use the enhance feature and... Get uh, get a nice sound out of it, and it's super portable and, and easy to get started with. So um, yeah. Oh, brilliant! I mean, can you just talk me through these buttons on the front? Sure. Yeah. So um, here we've got uh, two controls for uh, independently my uh, headphones mm -hmm. and for also your headphones, um, and in the middle we can set the gain of our um, of our microphones as well. Um, as you can see, I'm setting the gain for yours, and uh, and that dial will light up to tell us where we're at. Uh, but to make that a little bit easier, because it's a really important function, we don't want to set the gain too high and get clipping. We don't want to set it too low and not be able to hear what's being said. So we've got an auto gain function. To get there, press and hold the uh, the gain set button mm -hmm. and just speak for 10 seconds whilst uh, you see the countdown timer running on the interface you can just speak at your normal level mm -hmm. uh, vocaster will then set the gain to be at appropriate level for for your for your voice so let's give that a go i'm just going to um, press and hold this and if you wouldn't mind just uh, speaking at a normal level for 10 seconds we'll see how that sounds brilliant so we're doing a video on the vocaster and the vocaster 2 uh, gear for music um it, yeah it's really sounds really nice likes how it lights up uh, but yeah, talking for 10 seconds, uh, it be talking for 10 seconds. And there we are. So now we'll see the gain is set to about there. And um, yeah, we won't get any clipping. And we should be able to hear everything that's coming from the quiet end as well. Brilliant, brilliant. So with the kind of enhanced features, is there a different options there? Yeah, so um, the enhanced button on the front will kind of just by default either uh, throw on a bit of EQ and compression. Um, and there are different profiles as well. So I guess to start with, here's, uh, here's, <coughs> here's what the, uh, the microphone sounds like without any enhancements. Mm -hmm. It's a cleaner sound. It's a little bit harder to hear what's going on sometimes. So I'll switch that on and uh, instantly you can hear my voice comes through a little bit punchier. Over on the Vocaster Hub software, which we've mm -hmm. got loaded up here, uh, we can choose different enhancement profiles depending on the type of voice and what kind of effect we want to have. Um, so at the moment we're using the warm setting, um, but we've also got a clean setting, which is just subtly different. Uh, a bright setting like this, uh, that's got a little bit of a sort of a, a bit more boost on the treble. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then there's a radio setting as well. Uh, this has got very heavy compression. Yeah. <laughs> no, it really does. I can hear that. I'm almost like a, a, a reporter there with this voice. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so, yeah, we can choose a profile that suits our voice and suits the application. Yeah. And... Um, uh, yeah, and uh, get going with it. We've so. actually got this running through um, straight into our system, haven't we? Like we're not no no kind of compression. It's all just coming from the Vocaster Hub and also the Vocaster Two. So yeah, I'm liking the sound of this. That's Definitely right. prefer the warmer for my voice. It's quite bassy, my voice. So yeah, <laughs> on the warm, it sounds a lot better in my opinion. Yeah, it's quite nice to yeah. sort of be, able, be able to select different profiles. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is an absolutely true to life demo. Everything you're hearing is coming straight through the Vocaster and just uh, pushed down into a single stereo audio file. Um, these enhanced features are really nice to have them on board. Mm -hmm. Typically, you'd need some extra software and uh, complexity and, and processing power from your computer just to just to get these effects. But yeah, to serve the uh, to serve the sort of podcaster streamers, um, it's just all kind of done for you, and it's at the touch of a button. Yeah, great. I've noticed the the mute function there. I'm going to kind of walk through a bit of that. Sure, that's really really handy if you needed to cough or take a break and you didn't want anyone hearing. Ah, great. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, there's no kind of like clicks I notice at all or anything like that. Like literally a sneeze function, just <laughs> just in case. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a yeah. mute mute button. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, the connections on it as well. I've noticed there's a Bluetooth symbol on there. And what can I use that for? That's right. Yeah. So uh, we can stream audio straight from a Bluetooth source. Uh, mm -hmm. In this example, I'll just have it set up on my phone here. Um, I'm going to simply just press the Bluetooth button on the back and click pair new device. Um, Vocaster appears. And now it sort of acts as a, well, it recognizes it as like a Bluetooth speaker. But um, as you can see on Vocaster Hub here, if I start playing some music from um, my phone, that's now coming up in our mix. Oh, that's great. 
and we and the vocaster hub control we can uh, set the levels for that um and again that's just all coming yeah, out really in stereo uh, we can mute it and um yeah really 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 easy to use um in terms of other like inputs what else does it have kind of under well the back there i can't see yeah so um uh We've also got um, like loop back on here mm -hmm. as well. So what this allows you to do is take audio from uh, any software on your computer and also throw that into the mix as well. So I could be listening to music or playing a game or um, watching something on on the internet and then have that uh, the, the audio from that on the mix as well. Again, typically, and that's that's uh, that's also really really useful for like if you're doing a Zoom call. Yeah. So you can do a podcast with someone on the other end is on a, is on a Zoom call, um, and uh, and have them mixed in automatically. This is like a really common mixing problem that there's all sorts of overcomplicated solutions for. But with the Vocaster, it's it's just simply there in the in the mixing setup with uh, like phone calls or, or video calls with people as well. It's really easy to set up the video calls so that the other person on that call. Uh, here's this mix as oh, well. Oh, right, okay. So I can kind of plug my phone into that and then hear that as well. They can hear what we're saying along with the conversation. That's, that's it, yeah. That's they, pretty, pretty straightforward and good, that. Yeah, great. That's it, yeah. We're all sort of on the same page <laughs> yeah. with it uh, on the call. Um, yes, yeah, so there's two loopback channels on Vocaster too. Insofar as further uh, further inputs as well, uh, there's an aux input on the back. Mm -hmm. uh, that's actually a two-way aux uh, connection. Oh, so okay. you can take a stereo stream um, from like a phone, for example, mm -hmm. um, and also send a mono stream back out to the phone as okay. well. Okay, so similar to the kind of like the, the phone conversation, but with the aux cable as well. Exactly. Oh, yeah. brill. That's yeah. really, really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's really handy having that two-way uh, communication. So yeah, you could have an actual just a phone call if you know if you didn't want to do it over Bluetooth. Um, plenty of other uh, applications for it as well. Get, yeah, get great, great. No, it looks looks great. I mean, uh, how's the kind of build quality? You said it was recycled earlier, so it's recycled. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's loads of recycled materials. Um, lots of uh, lots of uh, consideration onto the environmental impact, including the sort of materials for the packaging as well. It's um, yeah, we've done really really hard push to uh, yeah minimise the uh, the carbon footprint of this. Great. So kind of the difference between the two, the Vocaster one's just for one um, one headphone and microphone. Is that right? What else? What else would, would you that's right? That? Yeah. So we've got one headphone and microphone on the Vocaster one, mm -hmm. which is ideal if you're like streaming or having conversations online and you wanted to record and capture them. Um, there is uh, the Vocaster two, which is the model up from that, has blue. Bluetooth. Um, it also has stereo um, aux in stereo aux uh, input, yeah, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and yeah, the extra headphone and microphone input. Those those are the fundamental differences. Yeah, with the two studio packs as well. So the Vocaster One, it comes with the, this microphone along with the, the set of these headphones. The, the Vocaster Two, it does come with a separate microphone. What's what's that microphone? That's right. Yeah. So as you said, yeah, the Vocaster One's this unit mm -hmm. plus that microphone and that's headphones. Okay. Uh, Vocaster Two is this uh, unit plus uh, the Vocaster Two uh, DM Two microphone um, and these headphones as well. So both studio bundles come with everything you need to get going. That's um, including the XLRs as well then. That's it, yeah, oh, you get brilliant. the XLR cables and the USB uh, parts as well. Worth mentioning as well, um, both units have uh, plenty of bundled software in mm -hmm. there as well, so um, it's pretty straightforward um, recording software typically for doing stuff like podcasting on. Um, it's Hindenburg Pro, there's a six-month trial for that. Yeah. Um, Squadcast and Acast as well. Um, yeah. Uh, that's all, all bundled in. That's it. And then as soon as you connect it for the first time, you'll get taken through an easy start process, uh, which will get you set up in no time and, and all your bundled software in as well. Great. No, really, really like the sound quality of this. I can probably hear it in my ears. Um, I like how it lights up when you speak. And I quite like the function of the, the RGB, the lights as well, uh, when it does go a little bit over when I'm too close to the microphone. So you kind of know and kind of you can know where to stand where you're near the microphone as well. That's it. Yeah, it's really handy, like feedback to know when, uh, yeah, when uh, when you're getting a bit too uh, too loud and close to clipping. I should also mention as well, there's uh, there's an output on this for uh, connecting to cameras as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like a little uh, um, 3.5 millimeter connection. You can connect that then to the mic input of a yeah. camera. So if you're filming a podcast, the audio that the camera records mm -hmm. and stitches into the movie file which is then produced by it is the mix that we're creating here um and so you basically minimize uh perhaps don't need any editing whatsoever um because the the film that you've recorded yeah. has a uh, compressed and mixed and uh and, and nicely enhanced 
um, uh, recording straight from uh, straight from the device. So yeah, no, sounds great. That's uh, that's really interesting. I mean, it's just the fact you can just plug everything into it. You don't need anything else. No separate kind of bits and bobs. Just few bit few cables. And that's all you need to get going. That's it. Yeah. The um, the real objective with this is to make it as simple as possible to get mm -hmm. going with. So you can just focus on having great conversations and 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 performing and uh, and you sort of put it to the side and and and. and don't have to think about it too much. Great. Brilliant. Thanks, Alex. Really interesting pair, these two. You can find any more information on these on our website. Also, you can pop a comment below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.